Yep. Yeah. My name is Emily Gillis, and I'm going to talk to you guys today about how to do it. Did you know that the longest handstand ever held in gymnastics was for approximately 40 minutes when Nikolai Novikov walked down 787 stairs in a Russian hotel? <laughs> And one of my coaches that I've had for several years in gymnastics always says that the key to the doorway of gymnastics is the handstand. A handstand is the basic foundation skill in all gymnastics. In almost every skill you'll ever learn, you will have to do a handstand. A little bit about myself. I've done gymnastics for the past 14 years, and I've never held a 40-minute handstand, but I have held one for pretty long. Uh, these pictures just kind of demonstrate that you can do a handstand anywhere. I always like to do them at different places that I go. That's Harpo Studios in Chicago. This picture is in Italy at the Vatican. The middle one is in Pompeii. That's in San Francisco, California at the Golden Gate Bridge. The one above it is at the beach. And the middle one is in Stone Mountain, Georgia. And the Intrigue Athletics logo is my gym that I've done gymnastics at for the past 14 years. Now today I'm going to teach you how to perform a correct handstand. There's three steps to doing a handstand. There's the free handstand, the actual handstand, and the finish. The pre handstand, you want to be sure to set up your surroundings and get yourself ready. You want to make sure that you have the proper matting and the proper space to perform a handstand because you've got to have the proper matting in case you fall, you'll be safe, you won't get hurt. And you want to have enough space so that you don't break anything. So if you're going to try this at home, I don't suggest doing it in a dorm room because you're pretty cramped and you might break your TV or yourself. You also want to make sure that you're getting stretched out, that way you don't pull muscle or get hurt. All right, the next step in performing a handstand is the actual handstand. To get ready, you want to start <coughs> with your arms up. In gymnastics, that's just a typical commonplace. We always start with our arms up so it looks nicer and that kind of thing. You want to make sure that you kick your front leg, or you put it in front of you, and then you actually kick your back leg up in the air behind you. You're then going to bring your back leg up to it, and that leads us into the actual handstand. Once you get into a handstand, you want to be sure to keep your arms straight. Because if you bend your arms, that only brings your head closer to the floor. And once you're in your handstand, you've got to figure out how to balance and maintain where you are. And according to vskills.com, the main balance place in a handstand is between your first knuckle and the palm of your hand. And believe it or not, you hold all your weight in that small amount of space while you're in a handstand. And if you start to lose your balance, you simply shift the weight to your fingertips and the base of your hand. Now, the last part in learning how to do a handstand is the finish. Once you have held it and you keep your arms straight, you bring your first foot down and then your second foot follows afterwards. You then land in what's called a lunge, which looks like this. Your front leg is bent, your back leg is straight, and your arms are up. Because you all know from watching gymnastics on TV that everybody finishes with their arms up and it's all pretty and everything like that. Uh, let's see. To sum things up, we've learned the three basic steps of a handstand. We've got the pre handstand, the actual handstand, and the finish. Now, you may not become the next Olympian like these girls, Nasia Lupin, Alicia Sacramoni, and Sean Johnson, but it's always a fun thing to show off to your friends because we're college kids. We like to have something fun to do to demonstrate to our friends and stuff like that. So, next time you're out and about and your friends want to see something cool, you can show them the perfect handstand that you now know how to do. That could be you. <laughs> Thank you.